competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. Do you ever sleep in your head here? I sleep in my head here. All the time? All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. All right, ready to go here at The Rock, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Both athletes embrace the octagon. Let us now see who will have the upper hand in this critical matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Mark the Hammer. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we are in the Brick City, Newark, New Jersey, inside Prudential Center. I can think of a lot of fighters that have had big moments inside these walls. Covington, Anthony Rumble Johnson with a big knockout back in the day. We'll see who shines in front of this capacity crowd tonight. This is a great arena, but my memory goes to the one time that a guy at the barbershop tried to give me a hairline. He painted me a full-on black hairline. I said, you know what? I can't go to the arena looking like this. I can't show up and fight for looking like I'm 17 years old. So I washed it off and went and watched a fantastic fight. That's a true story. By it's the way. a the really true to call those You tried to call those fools in your boy. They were pitching day for DC. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Fast pace here in the early goings. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Pretty good jab there by Coleman. Big double leg level change. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Back and forth we go. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it, and he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Midway through round one. Changing the position. Joy getting absolutely worked. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he's getting close to the finish now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. 
Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Blocked. against the nine. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Great defense by this fighter. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Block that strike. Look at it. Look at it. Now, shoot, shoot. Oh, and she tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chor. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet. But he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cole. He's very accurate in the ground and pound. It's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want to half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What's he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard, is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, the hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Ten seconds to go in the round. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Take a seat, Bob. That wasn't a horrible round, but I think we definitely lost that, okay? I need you to get this back on track. It's just like we work every day in the gym. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. That was a massive high kick. Straight right, he misses. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Down defense holds up. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking. But he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives it a level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing team. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. If I don't pay, then why are you betting me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Coleman's in half guard now. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. 
Coleman's back in half goals. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Coleman's back in full mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Choi's in half guard. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Side control, side control. Under two minutes to go. Oh, that's getting deep. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side. Great submission to pick up. Full display by the opponent. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. One minute. Close guard, Coleman's in half guard. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's out with one submission defense on the split. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big power shot there. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Leg kick checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice. Nicely done. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just out of range with that left hook. Takedown defense is there. He just heard him with a left hook, yep. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Huge kick to the leg. 
So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting started pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, he's got to badly now. He's having his way with him here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Great shot from the top position. Nice positional control here. Another ground and pound strike lands. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit the eye and not under the cuts. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's gotta be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Fight. Let's go. Let's get All right, so we'll see if he goes for another. Great time on that double leg. Oh, hammer fist here by Cole. Great job landing from the top position. Good body position, yep. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Choi's got the full mount. Mm, nice. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another corner pump strike lands for this man. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Choice back in full mount. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so Stop. there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Right, Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot. Got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walked back to the corner. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Effective use of the jab by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And 
Another thwack there to the outside of that lead leg. Oh, and he lands another huge kick. Lansing right hand lands upstairs. All right, so a knockdown form in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent. By the way, he is a this Well, he might be working towards an extreme knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Choi's right back to the full mount here. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. I need you to get back to guard for me. Move your head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, into full guard here. Look for a pass immediately in the half guard. Keep advancing the position. Coleman getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Lance with the ground and pound here. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, that one landed, yep. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of range with the big right hand. Fighters separate from the clinch. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up. Finding his target using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Missed with that right hand. Oh, a huge block there. All right, single collar tie now. And now some distance as they pull apart. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Some real power shots here. Oh, that's big. Oh, look at that. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Coleman's back inside control here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Coleman's in half guard. Nicely done. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because he's looking for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. The takedown is not there. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Just like we did in the gym. We're going to have to switch it up. I want you to go out there.
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. The right hand just misses. That shot is blocked by Coleman. Nice high kick land. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on. Nice right hand. around for too long. Coleman grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, nice. In the half guard. Joy getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cole. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response. Oh, yeah. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, you can chalk this up to a forgettable night at the office. He's losing the fight. His cardio is essentially on empty. Might be time to pass that control. It's time to pass the stick. <laughs> Hand it over to your homeboy, man. It's over. You try, and there's a for effort, but it's over. All right, late in the fight now, DC. The submission specialist clearly is going to be... Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, he's got his back. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Joy, ground and pound from half guard now. All right, has the guard closed here? That was a slick transition. Joy's right back to the full mount. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Continuing to work. Out of the half guard. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Cole. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 20 seconds to go in the fight. But at least staying busy on the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Good work from the top here. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies official decision is now entered, resides with Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. To play the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the...